Hey guys, first of all, don't mind me. I didn't feel like doing my hair today. So I just put a bandana on and that is it. Um, so this video is to address the question of, did I give up on nursing? Do I still work in the medical field? Um, so I'm gonna answer everything that I'm able to within this video. So to answer the question of, do I still work in the medical field? I currently do not have a job working in the medical field. I am talking to a couple of different potential clients to work as a caregiver um, or a companion, not necessarily a CNA. Um, it all depends on what they actually need. Um, it's going to be like home-based care, not necessarily facility-based. I have also been applying for different jobs that are not so physically demanding because with my MS it is very much more difficult for me to excel in the CNA space knowing that I'm not able to physically handle everything um, and it's definitely not safe for me to try to do those things when I have MS or multiple sclerosis so um, that has been a struggle um, did I give up on nursing and nursing school? No, I was supposed to actually start in January, but um, there was a big issue with financial aid and the school that I was going to be starting at is very expensive, so I'm probably going to go back to the community college. I did switch my major from the RN program to the LPN program because the state of Indiana has a lot of financial assistance for the LPN program but no assistance whatsoever for the RN program um, unless you're going to use like your own financial assistance from the government, the federal government. Um, but the state of Indiana has grants and things for the LPN programs um, or LPN training I should say. So I will probably utilize that if I'm able to. I believe sometime this month um, I need to go to the to the college and see if I can register for summer classes, see about the whole process of getting the grant, applying for the grant and all that stuff. I did not give up. Nursing has always been my dream and it continues to be my dream. And I just have to become creative and figure out a way to make it happen for myself. And if I'm not able to do that, then I'm gonna try to save money somehow and do like a phlebotomy program or something. Because at least with phlebotomy, um, it's still in the medical field. It's not as physical as, you know, lifting patients constantly and turning and repositioning people and transferring people. It's not as physical, obviously, because you're drawing blood and you're not, you know, constantly lifting someone and helping them into their wheelchair and getting them in the shower and all that stuff. Um, I think that that has been a major 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 thing when it comes to like how serious my MS has been progressing and I think that that is something that I really need to look at not doing. Um, I know that nursing is still a very physical occupation but there are also different avenues that I can take within the nursing profession once I actually get some nursing experience. I can work for you know an insurance company I can do telephone triage and things like that instead of all of the physical work that is required when you are direct patient care and hands-on. Um, so I did not give up. I don't plan on giving up. Um, it's just going to take me a little bit longer to figure out a way to make everything happen. It's very, very frustrating because, you know, I passed the T's. I did good, better than I thought I was going to be able to. Um, and then to have it come down to I can't start because of financial aid really like irritates me. Um, so that's been a very frustrating part of this whole process. But that is it for today's video. Um, I just wanted to answer that question really quick. And if you guys have any more questions regarding CNA, um, if I can give any of you advice on passing the Indiana CNA exam, or answer any questions regarding nursing school or the TEAS exam, TEAS test, let me know. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or advice on LPN versus RN 
or phlebotomy or any other like healthcare related thing. Um, I have looked into like medical billing and coding and stuff like that, but it's not really it's not really necessarily something that I would be interested in doing. Um, just because I have I have a learning disability with math, and so like to deal with numbers all day, day in day out would really really get to me. I feel like after a little bit of time doing it. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys have in mind. What are your thoughts? If there are any other topics that you would like me to talk about or address, any questions that I can answer for you guys, let me know either here in the comments through a private message or message me on Instagram or whatever. Um, my email is also on my YouTube page. So if you want to email me, feel free to do that. And with that being said, that's it for today's video. And I hope you guys are doing great.